Hi everyone. Uh, as we have already done the Zoom Vimeo OAuth 2.0, okay, in the previous session and in this today session, we will use the OAuth flow access code, which we have got from the OAuth flow 2.0, and we will use that access token and interact with the Vimeo API, okay? So today we will learn more about the Vimeo APIs. So basically, Vimeo base API is base API endpoint is this, and they have a simple and easy, okay, uh, relative endpoints. Like uh, if you are uh, needed to request the Vimeo users, then you just only pass slash Vimeo uh, API dot dot Vimeo dot com slash users or for users, okay. For uh, groups, you just only pass slash group. And if you have a need for videos, then you just only pass slash video. And if you have a need for channels, then you only pass channels. And if you have a need only albums, then you just only need pass albums, okay? So, so these are the relative endpoints, and this is the base endpoint. So we will interact uh, starting with the users, and then we will move on, okay? So for that, we just only need uh, for today's session, we get the uh, authorized access token user data that, that which user have authorized that uh, with that extra access token is belong to the which user. So we just request the Vimeo API with the slash me uh, relative endpoint and uh, Vimeo will response back as the metadata of the user. So we will first implement that. So we call it app.get slash api vimeo slash me okay so we just say async and request the response and then we need to create a helper function inside the vimeo helpers called const me and async and we return back oh, sorry we just uh, build the endpoint so we say me URI. So we can get the me URI. I have a created constants. So in the constant, I have a base endpoint. Okay. And I have already imported that here. So Vimeo base endpoint. So we call Vimeo base endpoint and me. Okay. So there's a me endpoint. So and then we just say const data await and we call axios and we just pass the URI, me URI, and we pass headers and we say uh, authorization, which must be set the authorization header called bearer, bearer token. Okay, so then we say process, process.env.vimeo, okay, dot vimeo token. So I have already placed that Vimeo token in, in here on the line three five. So basically I'm just mentioning demos. This is a not a good practice or a good programming practice to place your access tokens directly on a process environment variables. Okay, so this is not a good practice, but for our sessions, I'm not, not going to create express sessions. Okay, so our main concern is to learn third party API. So that's why I'm just only placing those inside the environment variable. Okay. okay. And then we just say response and we return here response and also we paste the error, okay? And we response back error and return data. And I think so, this response is auto edited. So we just need to farm it and we place an arrow up it here, okay, and then we need to import. So, I, we have already uh, exported me, and then we need to import that here, okay, me. And now we just need to let Vimeo user. So, we say await me, and that's it. Return response.json, and we send back Vimeo user. Okay, so now 
we just need to start the API and we request okay we request local host port 4000 okay and say api slash authorize slash win okay let's wait that Vimeo will redirect us to the authorization page for OAuth view. So this thing is happening today. I'm not getting what's going down with the Vimeo API. So it is mentioning too many redirects error. And sometimes it is working, sometimes it is not. So we need to place a breakpoint. Let's Hit that again. Okay, click hello. Now we have code. Return back. And now we are authorized and we let's see local host port 4000 and we pass API Vimeo slash me. Okay, hit enter. And you can see we have a successfully data of that user. Okay, so it is automatically getting the data automatically from the Vimeo API using the access token. So we are not passing any uh, users and uh, relative endpoints like Vimeo have mentioned like this. Okay, Vimeo have mentioned that you can pass users like user ID, but not we are not passing that, and we are passing directly me. The me we are getting access the authorized user meta. Okay, and now. After that, we also get the albums, okay? So we say slash API Vimeo slash album, okay? So we are seeing and the request response, okay? And we call it here. First, we must, we need to create the helper called albums. And we say sync, and we just need to build the album URL. And we need to build. So we call Vimeo base endpoint, and we say album. Okay. So it is albums. I let me. Verify that thing so you can see from here. So we have albums, okay? So we are just only passing albums, okay? And now, post data, and we say over it and check shares. And because the URL will be album URL, and we just need to pass the headers. And we say the method will be get. And we say authorization. We just need to pass the headers directly from here and here. I think so. Command C and command V. Okay. And then this one. Open response. Okay, and dot case error. And we return error and return data. Okay, just need to format and we say here albums. We need to import albums. Okay. And we call here albums Vimeo albums are we say playlists and wait albums and return response.json and we call Vimeo playlist 
Okay, and just need to restart the API. You can start. Okay, so it is mentioning on the unexpected token on the album. So we have missed in the arrow parameter once again. So we can clear and then start. And now once again we call it here. We see authorized linear. Okay, okay, just move on. So I do not think why this thing is happening. Sometime the API is working and sometime it is not. You see, same thing is work, not work with the first request, but on the second request, it redirected. Continue. And then we just need to request Vimeo albums. Enter and we see. I think we have some problem. So we place a breakpoint here and here, and we now just let's request once again. And we got error, and the error is 404. Okay, so we just need to pass me. Okay, and then we need to. Continue it and let's resend the request. And we just continue, continue. See, it is albums, so we need to restart. Now we first need to authorize once again. Authorize. This Vimeo need to authorize and then we request the albums. Okay. So it is not requesting for in the first request. We are requesting second time and let's see. No response, that request. API is running. Okay, local host port for thousand slash API slash authorize and we hit enter. Hello, continue and let's it once again. We are still not found, so it is 404. Let's open the postman, and from the postman, we can see albums. So it is me albums, and things is right. So we have oh. Now I have misplaced double slashes. My fault. So you can see if you have placed any double slash, then the API will not work. So let's request once again. I know there are many problems while we are working. Okay, 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 just pin. Sometime it is not loading, sometime it is requesting. 
ओके क्लिक कराओ एंड वी से हिट एंटर कंटिन्यू एंड नाउ लेट्स सेंड रिक्वेस्ट वंस अगेन एंड वी हैव रिस्पांस ओके सो इनसाइड द डेटा वी हैव वी हैव वन एल्बम ओके एंड दैट एल्बम मेटा डेटा user belong to that album okay and okay so we have basically successfully got the albums and point with the me parameter okay i think there's vimeo's and uh, their video collections okay so you can see here are videos also okay so in the next session i uh, this session is going a bit long so i'm just going to end the session and uh, keep moving and uh, in the next session and we will keep deep dive with the vimeo aps for the move okay oh, if you have any query regarding this session or any endpoint regarding third parties as i am building the video series so just please place a comment on video uh, comment sections or either you can uh, share your queries uh, on my shared contact details like either on a email or on a whatsapp okay so hopefully you have got that thank you bye bye